Hi. In the previous videos, what we saw was basically a radial approach to data envelopment analysis. However, the radial approach to data envelopment analysis faces the problem of slacks. It means there are slacks in the DEA. Let us look at how these slacks look like, where you can find them, what is the problem with the slacks, and how uh, we can move to a non radial approach to remove these slacks. So we have an example where we have form A, B, C, D, E, F and two outputs Y1, Y2 and two inputs, input one and input two. Let us find out efficiency using radial approach. In radial approach, we would use output oriented efficiency using CRS technology. First, we need weights. Let us set the initial value of weights to zero. We need output oriented efficiency. So we need phi. Let us set initial value to phi. You can set any value. Solver will optimize for you. And technical efficiency, which is 1 by phi, is equal to 1 divided by the cell with phi. For our constraints, let us copy these headings. Left hand side, right hand side. Left hand side is some product of output one comma lambdas or the weights. I fix the lambdas and I can simply drag it. So output two would be output two into lambda. Inputs would be inputs into lambda. Right hand side, here there are two output. So for output one, it would be phi. Let us say form under observation or form under consideration is form C. So we select output of form C. Output two, it would be phi multiplied by output two of form C. Input one of form C. Inputs would not be multiplied by phi because this is output oriented approach. Now we have set the linear programming constraints. Now we go to solver. We need to set objective. We need to maximize the value of phi. So I select cell with phi. Maximize by changing cells. By changing cells lambda and phi and constraints. I'm just removing the old constraints and I'll add again. Okay. Add constraints left hand side that is output left hand side should be greater than equal to output right hand side add input left hand side should be less than equal to input right hand side and click on ok only two constraints because we are not taking sigma lambda j is equal to one that is sum of weights is equal to one because we are using CRS, constant return to scale technology. And click on solve. We get phi is equal to 1.8889 or 1.89 and technical efficiency is nearly 0 0.53. Now, if you look at the outputs, okay, the left hand side and right hand side is 11.1, 11.33. 11 However, the left hand side and right hand side of output two is not same. It means that these constraints are not binding. This is not binding and there is a difference. This difference is called a slack. Now, now you can see, suppose the output, let us see output of form C. Output of form C is six. If you increase this six by factor phi, that is 1.889, you get 11.33. That is output number one can be increased to 11.33. If you increase output number two, observed output number two is three. If you increase this three by a factor of 1.88, you will get a value of 5.67 
or here you can see on right hand side it is 5.67 however we know that it can be increased up to a maximum of 7.33 if you increase 3 to 7.33 you can increase you can still have you still have a scope for increase so it would be 7 minus 3 you can still increase by 4 Just a minute. It is 7.33 minus current 3. It means that there is still a scope for increasing the output by 4.33 units, which is 4.33 divided by 3 or say 1.44 or the output can still be expanded. Output number two can still be expanded by 1.44, that is 144%. However, our, the current limitation of this is that it expands the output only by 88% or a factor of 1.88. And there is, if you expand it by 1.88, you can reach 5.66. However, there is still a scope that you can further increase by 144% and reach 7.33. This problem is called as problem of slacks in radial approach. To counter this, what we do is we use a non-radial approach. In the coming videos, we will see non-radial approach results input and output measure and Pareto-Koopman's measure. Thank you.